Welcome to the Multiverse. I'm your host, Taurus, and I'm coming back at you from my car. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing another, we're doing another ride along episode, folks. Uh, yeah, winding down a long day, and you know what? I was like, let's check into that has lab. Let's see what's going on with that giant bed. And um, as of right now, you know, I just, these numbers are gonna change once I post this, possibly. It's at 6,027 backers. Uh, this thing needs 10,000 backers to fund. Um, will it fund? Will it not? I mean, there's a lot of speculation on that. A lot of people are talking about it. I did a video previously about this uh, HasLab, which was another car episode. So we're talking in the car about uh, the uh, Giant Man a lot. But um, um, and this is what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about why I feel uh, this HasLab has not funded yet or why it's not as close as i feel it should have been and the reason why this thing hasn't funded yet or why it's not nearly as close as many would have hoped you know many more like people from hasbro is the fact that this is not a haslab y'all i mean this uh, this is not a haslab you know um the marvel legends team I, I love the marvel legends figures even though a lot of them come off as very cheap um i think that a lot of those figures are very overpriced um, but in terms of this HasLab, I like this Giant Man. It looks great. But again, it's not a HasLab. You know, um, I think that the Marvel Legends team, they're really trying to just nickel and dime the consumer by just passing an item that really is a normal, a standard release that could have been put on Hasbro Post for maybe like $99, you know, or, or whatnot. You know, this that's what this thing should have been. It should have been put on Hasbro Post or made available everywhere. Or just a Hasbro Post exclusive, you know, maybe that. But not a HasLab. You know, this is just, they're not giving you enough of this thing. You know, they, you don't even get a smaller version of the Giant Man. They could have even added, you know, the same Hank Pym that we got in that West Coast Avengers pack. They could have took his head off <laughs> and put it, placed it on the Ant-Man body that we got from the Target exclusive. They could have did that. And it's not like they don't do that anyways with other figures. So I just feel like we're not getting enough with this HasLab. Uh, no Wasp. We don't, we're don't. we not getting just a standard release of the Giant Man. Um, I also felt that they should have also added maybe a backdrop diorama to play up to his height, to play up to his size. So no figures. No backdrop, but you're giving us a swappable head and a faceplate as tears. So the swappable head, which is a scroll head scope, they're placing that at, what, 12,000 backers, which is insane and ridiculous. And then they have the zombie faceplate for 14,000 backers, which is even more so ridiculous. Those are items that should have been included with the giant man. So items that should have been included with giant man they're passing off as tears which to me screams lack of thought lack of effort on the marvel legends team and that's why this thing is struggling that's why this thing may not fund i think ryan from the hasbro team said that they learned from the engines of vengeance has left by not adding figures which is insanely wrong because figures did not doom the Ghost of Vengeance. What hurt the Ghost of Vengeance has that was the fact that they chose the wrong Ghost Rider for one. You know, if you want to do the Ghost Rider with the car, that's fine. But you got to add Johnny Blaze and you got to do Danny Keach. Those, for the most part, are the consumer's Ghost Riders. So you chose the wrong, wrong Ghost Rider for one. And two, again, that has that just didn't give us enough. And then they wind up trying to throw in a figure but it was just too late. And then the figures they had as tears, they were just not enticing enough. But the Hasbro team got to realize and what everybody else, uh, all these other companies got to realize is that there are other players in the game. There's just so much out there right now. But instead of buying a $200 Giant Man, which isn't really a HasLab, maybe somebody might, might want to buy some McFarlane figures. Maybe somebody might want to buy Mezco, Mafex. There's just so many other things out there to choose from other than this giant man. So what the Hasbro team needs to realize is that no, you need to add figures with the HasLab. You need to put more thought 
into this HasLab and understand that there are other things out there for us to dive into. There are other brands out there. So we don't have to use that or spend that 200 plus dollars on a giant man. In terms of collecting, there are more things out there to dive into than this giant man, folks. So that's why this thing is suffering. That's why it might not fund. I, I'm, ha I'm split. I think that it either is going to fund to where it hits the 10,000 mark and that's it, or it will just miss it by a little bit. Because right now we're at the 6,000 to 27 mark. So I feel like there's going to be a bit of a bump towards the end. We got seven days left, but I feel like it'll, it may fund, but it'll just make it, you know, or it just, it may just miss it. So I need to see more from this giant man. I, I want it folks, but I don't know if I'll dive in on it because I, again, I just dived in on the entire, uh, DC direct Batman and animated series wave. And that, that cost nearly pretty much close to that $200 mark. Um, so again, as the consumer, I dived in on that as opposed to saying, okay, I want to get the giant man. So, I mean, again, they gotta, they gotta make these things more enticing. They gotta put more thought into these has labs. So whether they win this has lab or not, I hope the Marvel legends team moving forward will put more thought and more effort into the next has lab. Hopefully they'll get over the engines of vengeance has lab and focus on giving us something that feels more like a HasLab. Because again, this is not a HasLab. The Quinjet would have been a HasLab. The Avengers Mansion, which I was hoping that they would do, would have been perfect for a HasLab. But folks, that's all I have for this episode. Just wanted to share my quick thoughts on what I feel about this Giant Man HasLab as it stands right now. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think this thing will fund? Do you think it won't fund? Do you think that this is a HasLab? Uh, do you think it's not a HasLab? Do you think they're even giving us enough to warrant uh, a HasLab? Uh, let me know in the comments, folks. I'm really interested to see what you all have to say about this. Uh, be sure to ring that bell for all notifications so that you get each and every one of my content pieces as it drops. And folks, don't forget to what? Yep. Like, share, and subscribe. If you did not already, I truly appreciate it. And until next time, folks, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. And uh, make mine marvel, y'all. Hopefully this giant man of fun. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> until next time, y'all. Bye for now.